how big it is. I think like a lot of people in this room, uh, I'm almost a teenager, I'm only just, just into my 20s. And every time we were told it was the big one, uh, the introduction of Thebes, the Afghan war, Palestine, the Iraq war, Palestine again, the wholesale marketization of education. What we have to understand about this moment, this time, is that this really is the big one. We have an opportunity to tackle not only fees, not only marketization, but the political impotence of an entire generation. It's a moment in which the bread and butter issues of students and lecturers can be generalised into a vast movement capable of challenging the very basis of the way our society is run. UCL isn't a political place. It's where I'm from. Not originally, but you know. <laughs> Will there be an occupation at UCL? I'd lay money on it. We had an AGM meeting on whether or not to support the strike. 317 for, 44 against. <laughs> there was singular taken against it. But more importantly, what is the national campaign against fees and cuts? Why should you be involved? And why should we work together on everything? It's been being booked since August, and earlier on in February, 180 registered attend attendees came to UCL. One of the really amazing things about this moment, I think, and about the National Campaign Against Fees and Cuts, is that, and indeed about this conference today, is that it wasn't just the same old faces. It wasn't just the same old egos. It was backed by the NUS LGBT campaign. It involved people who'd never been involved in politics at all. People from UEA, for instance, who'd really never done anything of this kind before, and who came from across the UK to take part in it. And we're not bureaucratic, we have no elected officers, we consist of regional meetings in the South, North, London and East, and we have London meetings, uh, we have national meetings uh, occasionally. We're action orientated and we have a blog. That's about it. <laughs> this is not a counter-post movement to this and nobody should think it is. We're also calling for a wave of action from the 1st of March, that's Monday. Um, UCL, UEA, Westminster, Leeds, and about a dozen others across the country we're expected to see a lot happen, and it's happening right now. We aim to coordinate those campaigns, um, and we're also conscious of a broader role. The broader role is that throughout history, students have played the key role of being the detonator of a wider working class struggle. Words I don't tend to use for jargonistic reasons, but we should use them. Wherever the UCU needs support on a local level or on a national level, we will be there as students. And whenever the UCU isn't capable of playing that role, for whatever reason at a local level, we will be there anyway. And I, I don't think anybody here can promise that we'll win. You know, we're not guaranteed to win every fight, but it's only by fighting that we can win. And we can say that we have won on a wider level and across the education sector. We've won the London Living Wage campaigns at SOAS, Queen Mary's, and now at UCL, and the absolutely fantastic effort that I've seen Juan Carlos Piedra make at UCL. And I don't think, you know, I, I started with a carrot, what we're capable of doing. Let's remember the stick. <laughs> Let's remember that, although the Labour government is awful, and I'm not saying vote for them, they said education, education, education. Whatever government gets in at the next election doesn't pretend to give a shit. So we, the National Campaign Against Fees and Cuts, support this initiative and we think it's wonderful and we want to work closely with whatever comes out at the end of it. And we ask you to work with us. I'm going to end uh, with a slogan. And slogans, this slogan, like all slogans, belongs to the last person that used it. The last person that used it was the Sussex occupation. Your university is a factory, demonstrate, strike, occupy. <laughs> this is a moment in which the left in general, and student politics in particular, and politics across the left is capable of an awakening that we haven't seen in decades. And history will damn us if we fail to do it. Thank <laughs> you.